Hello and uh, welcome. It's Chris at uh, MapFXLR and uh, today I am taking you to the north of Burgundy, to Chablis, uh, precisely, with that um, beautiful Chablis 2019, Ante 1980 by Charlie Nicole. So, a lot to say about this estate. So, the, the Charlie Nicole family has been uh, making wine and, uh, and tending vineyards uh, for, for centuries, for decades. Um, but he started his own vineyard in 2011. He has uh, 17 hectares altogether, which is quite generous. Uh, makes a lot of different complex uh, wines, two premier crus, uh, this cuvee, another cuvee, a petit chablis as well. And this comes from a, a five uh, hectare vineyard located uh, all around the estate uh, in uh, in Fay and in uh, Chablis village as well. Um, noted that Chablis altogether as an appellation is uh, just above 8,600 hectares. So five hectares is actually quite a small plot when you think about it. So as you are in the north of Burgundy, obviously this is 100% Chardonnay and um, there's no oak aging uh, for, for this wine, even though the name states, so, so Ante 1980 is basically one of the older vineyards that he owns as every vineyard has been planted prior to 1980. That's the, that's the, the, the idea of, uh, of that cuvee. So the wine comes really with a, a clear, bright yellow with uh, the green hue. So, so you got that sensation of, of, of use. I mean, 2019 is one of those vintage, really yielding, very low yielding, sorry, so, so a lot of concentration and you can feel that in, in the wine. I'll come to that uh, in a minute. Um, on the nose, the one is, is super fresh, it's opened, it's, it's really direct, you know, uh, with, with a lot of peach, queens, elderflower, you've got the, the sensation of minerality, there's a touch of herbal as well, uh, you've got that ramp fruit sensation, uh, with also kind of yellow apple and, and uh, even a touch of flint, so the minerality come through very, very nicely. On the palate, it's forward, it's generous, it's tender, um, it, it has that kind of vivid uh, ripe fruit character also coming through, the tangerine, the queens again, uh, the Cape gooseberry or physalis, uh, again, the, the herbal, the earthy notes come through, uh, the kind of wet stone which really, really entice and, and give that sense of, of sensation of precision, of location. You really are in Chablis nowhere else uh, with that expression. Mid palette is uh, mid weight, uh, it's not too heavy, it's not too concentrated, but you've got that you know beautiful acidity, that really beautiful lift mixed with, with the with the ripeness of the fruit and the, the quality uh, of the fruit expression. It's really, really enticing, it's beautiful. And then it's finished on a nice textured and long finish uh, on sort of floral notes. It also has a touch of bitterness, which I like because that adds some sort of complexity uh, toward the finish as well. It's the perfect expression and, uh, and the archetype uh, of, of the style. I really, really enjoy uh, what Charlie Nicole is doing in, in Chablis. More and more I test his cubes and more I really, really like uh, what he's trying to, what he's achieving as such. Um, serve it 13 degrees, not too cold again, not too cold, to lock too much uh, the, the, the food character. Uh, open and drink, but you can can also sit on that for a few years without problem because of the quality of the vintage altogether. Again, as an aperitif, will be a delight. You know, sashimi and sushi comes to mind because that raw character, uh, ceviche, white meat could work. You know, and even you know textured fish could take a bit of uh, spice as well, but light spice. So here you are. Enjoy Shiny Nico's wines because they are very spectacular. And uh, speak to you soon.